Hey guys, so you saw where we ended up with the end of construction. We were super happy with what, uh, how everything came out. The drainage was working perfectly. Uh, everything was looking great. And then we had seven days of nonstop torrential downpour here where the property is. And this is the result. All right guys, so as you can see, we have about two feet of water over the entire property. Um, you can see all the way back to the creek here. Uh, I'm gonna move over to the right here in a second and you can see the creek is completely full. The That was our overflow backup right there. Uh, our drainage, overflow drainage ditch is all the way back to that creek and it's completely over full. It has over spilled out over onto the entire property, not just the range or the ditches. Uh, and it was quite devastating. It, you know, we had over two feet of water over the entire property and uh, we were baffled. We were trying to figure out what had caused this. So um, I'm gonna fly over here. The pond is on the right, right here. You see the deeper section of the water but you can see that the road everything is entirely covered in water and uh, there, there just wasn't any area of the property that wasn't under you know up to two feet of water it was it was an incredible amount of water what we ended up finding and uh, I'll, I'll show you a piece of me flying around is I flew around the neighbor's properties as well. Um, I went about five properties over and every property was overflowed like this, was was completely underwater. And what had happened is that creek, that stream where we drain out into um, due to the storms had gotten blocked. So all the water that was draining from all the properties had filled up that stream and then had nowhere to go and this was the result so this is our road right here that goes the length of our property um, and you can see there's a drainage ditch right next to that road along the inside road and that was completely overflowed as well as you can see um, so all the way the length of the property on both sides was completely o overflowed um, just devastating amount of water uh, so what we ended up hearing was they brought out some machines um, I'm guessing it was the county brought out some excavators we heard them working uh, probably clearing off all the debris that was blocking off the uh, that stream and then uh, you'll see the result of that drainage here in a minute but yeah guys this was a uh, this was an incredible surprise when we drove up on this amount of water.
Everything is flooded, as you can see. Super fun. Also flooded this way. Apparently, everybody's flooded. Not just us, so I guess that's good. At least the water feels good. All right, guys, so as you can see, Kristen went for a walk. Uh, to check uh, around the property on the day that we found it flooded out like that uh, so this is just some footage of her walking around um, as she checked the property but we did go back the next day and this is what we found so here is our back berm to the 700 yard range there's our pond and we still got a little bit of standing water here but uh it's not that deep. It's draining really fast back there. Uh, everything is flowing from where I'm standing that way. So it's good. The range has drained significantly. All of this, I mean, you couldn't see the ground. There was literally like two feet of water uh, on everything. So that just kind of shows you, I mean, all of this was underwater. So it just shows you that the drainage is working. Uh, especially for this amount of water. We'd gone through a, a tropical storm before, and, uh, you know, those are one day, but it drops a lot of water, and it did nothing like this. I, I think it was just seven days of just continuous rain uh, since we had last been here for the end of construction. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, what, uh, that's what's going on, guys. So we're just keeping tabs on the drainage. We're pretty happy. The road has done amazingly still even with all that rain the road was completely underwater too like two feet of water yesterday and you see now it's all up it's all dry it's hard rode the tractor through there uh no sinking points nothing like that so what we did i mean you could see that the road is leveled that way too to help drain all this so our our drain plan and the way we set everything up is working the way we wanted to i think we it was just overwhelmed one by the amount of water and then two by the fact that there's was, there's was probably a clog downstream somewhere that was preventing um the uh, water from from just flowing out so just wanted to give you guys that update um we are going to work on some measures down towards the front of the range to help lift the elevation of where the shooting line is going to be because you can shoot over water it's all going to be steel so we're not worried about that but uh that way at least all the firing line area it's all going to be above water no matter how much water because we saw how high the water got even in this worst case scenario and um so we saw how high the water got and uh, so we're going to be able to adjust that and make sure that our shooting lines are going to be um higher than that so even if it rained like crazy and the range might have some water on it you won't have to walk down it because it's going to be all steel and then uh, uh, you'll be nice and dry and in, uh, in the higher elevation where the the shooting positions are going to be. So there you go. On the upside, because of all the, uh, the, the, the soft dirt, we're able to see an incredible amount of tracks for the animals that are coming through the property, which is pretty neat. Uh, I put out some trail cams, so hopefully we get some pictures of those. All right, guys, just a quick update and we'll see you on the next one. Almost forgot, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos so that we can uh, keep working out here and getting you some good footage. Uh, we're going to be doing some videos on this guy and all the hard work that this tractor has put in and will continue to put in out here at the property. All the implements, what, what problems we've had uh, and whatnot, and what, uh, what problems we haven't had that we expected. So uh, make sure to, again, like, comment, and subscribe guys uh, let me know what you want to see what kind of videos you want to see uh upcoming and we'll go from there thanks guys see you on the next one